name is Lindsey Graham, and I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious, uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? No one. You are right. Why? Because you are not stupid, and these children are not stupid. One look at me, and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder, and if I am unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction? No tail, whiskers, or outfit makes me a cat. Just like no lipstick, high heels, or long hair makes him a woman. If you were to address me as a cat right now, it's as ridiculous as when you say Miss Big Fleur and a grown man's voice comes thundering. Hey, listen up, everybody. King. Hey, y'all. So, at my new job, of course, I got new co-workers. And one of my new co-workers posted this. This is at a elementary school right now. Uh, I just want to know, TikTok, how do y'all feel about this? We are rainbows? Hmm? Hi. Please tell me. Give me your comments. Yep, that was me in the background. Huh? <laughs> Um, here's the thing, guys. Y'all know there's a lot of shit going on with, like, public schools where teachers are trying to push that LGBTQ agenda on the children, right? See, the thing is, nobody had an issue with you being gay until you started putting the pride flag in the classroom. Nobody had an issue with people being trans until they started telling eight-year-olds that they can go on Lupron as a puberty blocker, which is the same drug used to chemically castrate people. Nobody had an issue with you being gay or trans or whatever you identify as until you started bringing children to sexually inappropriate pride shows. Nobody had an issue with you being gay or trans until you started teaching children about gender ideology in the classroom. Nobody had an issue with gay or trans people until you started putting pornography in their school libraries. It never had anything to do with you being gay or you being trans or whatever you identified as or whoever you were attracted to. It had everything to do with you pushing it onto children and crossing a line. Sincerely, a gay person. We've seen it all over the place, all over the internet. But in this case... It says, we are a rainbow of possibilities. What he's trying to say is that they're trying to accentuate the rainbow part of it. Now, him and I got into a debate. I said, well, I mean, you you didn't read the whole thing, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're, you're focused on the rainbow part when the whole message is that there could be any sort of possibility that these kids can get themselves or can, can develop into, right? They can develop into doctors, lawyers, you know, whatever. Um, but if your focus is on the rainbow part, then yes, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna put that out there as a as a thought. I, it, what he's doing is he thought he's thought provoking, right? And then you know, soon after, I mean, it it didn't take long for someone to comment that he was taking the message wrong or whatever. But he was just putting it out there that, hey, TikTok, what do you feel about this? We are rainbows. So his statement saying that we are rainbows, yes, that's that's what the focus is on. But at the end of the day, the whole thing says we are a rainbow of possibilities. Hey, today I posted a rainbow and it said, we are a rainbow of possibilities. 
That's what it says. I believe that's what it says. And I said, how do y'all feel about this? TikTok. And I get attitude from more females of, it, it is, it's just positive. It's just positive. You didn't finish. I didn't finish reading the whole thing. So it, it, you, you need to go back to school. You need to I just said, how y'all feel about it? I posted it. Y'all can read it for yourself. I didn't. I just. I, I just. I just said it. What the stuff said in big letters and what said the stuff in little letters. Yeah. I, I said, how y'all feel about it? And y'all getting at me sideways. I get it. You're triggered. I didn't say nothing negative. I just said how you feel. Think about it. So here's how I put it, right? I basically was like, look, they could have said it's a spectrum, a spectrum of possibilities. Uh, um, I don't know, shit. A prism of possibilities, you know, if you want to, like, incorporate the rainbow in it. Because, um, you know, what's what's a rainbow? It's, it's basically sunlight and moisture. So what are we really debating here as far as rainbows? Um... It, they could have said a plethora of possibilities, you know, but they used the word rainbows. And then in that entire classroom had rainbow everything, like all over the place. So, you know, whether or not the teacher is of the LGBTQ, whether or not the teacher is just a little liberal, or whether or not the teacher just likes the, you know, they use the colors of the rainbow to... I don't want to decorate the classroom. I don't know. It's really hard to say. The person, the cl uh, teacher wasn't even there to begin with. Um, I don't know. I just... But... He was trying to... Thought provoke. He was trying to provoke thought. He was also trying to trigger. Let's be honest. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to uh, trigger. And the majority of the time when we were uh, working together yesterday, he basically was like focused on his TikTok and then focused on the numbers and I'm like hey you know what maybe give it 24 hours before you before you start replying to comments and he's like nah nah, nah I'm, I got this many views and and, um, alright cool I'm just saying you know give it some time to build up and uh, he already started talking back replying to comments or whatever um, I mean Ultimately, at the end of the day, what does it really say? We are a rainbow of possibilities. What do y'all think? I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I'm not the reason why anything is. If you think that I believe that somebody that I don't really know teach my kid about any type of sexuality or anything like that yeah, that's not what I'm, that, I'm not, I don't believe in that but if you think that what uh, a rainbow on opportunity is a negative comment that's not a negative either do I believe that there's other ways to say something that's a very positive a big message for the kids to read and, and a big message that everybody feels accepted in yes I believe that not that the message was bad, but I believe there's other ways to say it and not trying to throw a rainbow symbol for another community down these kids' throat. That's it. Summertime in the 760. Whole lot of crackheads in the skivvies. <laughs> it's your boy, King Chua, y'all. Thank you for watching. Remember that you're loved and remember to be great every day. Because tomorrow is never promised. I'm back to work, y'all. Peace out. Love y'all. Every day you wake up, you got a decision to make. To go right or left. Up or down. Right or wrong. At the end of the day, you make the decision. Nobody forces you. So make the right decision. Make moves. Set the goals. Stop making excuses, man. And if it look like a duck, Walk like a duck and sound like a duck. It's a duck. Stop guessing. Just do the right thing. You heard? You hear me? I love y'all. Stay positive. Love one another. All right. <laughs> I love this question.
Absolutely right. Rainbows are not bad. But you're making a slogan with your rainbow. Uh, rainbows. You're making a rainbow slogan where where a kid is about to sit there and they, they're in the class every day and they're looking at the rainbow and it's, it's programming. All this stuff is programming. I'm not saying it's... I, I don't I'm not saying when I see two men kiss I go ill I just mind my business and keep it pushing but what I'm saying is you're, you're programming your little kids at a very young age the only person that should be programming like that kind of stuff is their their parent that's how I believe I'm not trying to not include everybody but at a young age kids shouldn't even be thinking about anything about anything about sex or any or if they like guys, girls, or anything like that, it should just be school and work. That's it. And if you know how kids are. <laughs>